used to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 Just one request, don't touch the exhibits. This is a unique dinosaur egg which I found on an expedition in Tanzania. While the rest of the pieces in the exhibition allow us to accurately see how our world was in the time of the dinosaurs. Huh, but these are all fakes. Not fakes, just refabrications. Well, if truth be told, all the exhibits are replicas, all except the egg. But how do we know that that's all how it was? Anyone can make up all sorts of dragons. But paleontology does not fantasize, it examines. Our dear planet is roughly four and a half billion years old. We can restore the last several thousand years of this cycle thanks to the science of history. According to various sources, from legends and chronicles to the first rock inscriptions, which are more than 40,000 years old. However, this is negligible compared to the rest of the life of the planet. What was before? In general terms, this question is answered by physics and astronomy. But these exact sciences, alas, are not able to tell us about the diversity of living organisms that existed for billions of years before the appearance of a rational man. And here, paleontology comes to our aid. The scientific study of prehistoric organisms. A picture of the ancient world can be traced through fossils and remains that have survived from ancient times to the present day. Thanks to these studies, we know that life appeared on Earth more than three and a half billion years ago. During this time, the journey from tiny microorganisms to amazing giant dinosaurs that existed on the planet for nearly 200 million years has come and gone. I suggest we take a break and have some tea. <gasps> ah, were you scared? <laughs> Keep up, Prickles. The boss is back in town. Everybody's more relaxed here now, I bet, without any dinosaurs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what a funny cutie pie. Who is it? Well, I guess it's you. Stop joking around, Prickles. What, what, where are my claws? And fangs. And where are my scales? I didn't take them. I said, don't touch anything. It wasn't me. It was him. <laughs> but he really was there. And now he's hiding somewhere. Completely alone. He doesn't even have his own name. Listen, you've been driving me crazy with this imaginary friend. Why would you make up someone when you already have me, huh? Peter, what do you think? That's a good name. Well, sit here then, in your chicken shack. <laughs> Righty, and what is this? I found you. But I was never lost. D I thought of a name for you. Peter. Uh-huh, thanks. It just doesn't seem to suit a dinosaur. But you're not really a dinosaur. 
Get over it, Freckles. It's temporary. It's got to be here somewhere. How to become what you want. But you were only born yesterday, and you already know how to read. We dinosaurs are not quite there yet, all right? Got it? I'm just looking at the pictures. Why would you want to be a dinosaur? You're fine as you are. And what do you know about it? You've seen yourself in a mirror? I have, and I'm okay with it. Oh, don't lie. You've just accepted it. Being them would be cool. Well, could you at least come and meet the others? It's just that nobody believes me. Are you nuts? Like this? Wait till I become a dinosaur. Then they can look all they want. <laughs> And now, sorry, but me and Arakli are going to go play and do a lot of interesting stuff. But why a chicken? How is some chicken better than a rabbit? I'd understand if it were a dinosaur, but a chicken? Well, if it makes you feel any better, we can say that it's almost the same thing. Paleontologists have to piece together a picture of the past through tiny details, bone fragments, fossils, and petrified fragments of plants. And only until recently, to get the picture, scientists had to be guided basically by their own imagination. But then, modern methods of study and analysis came to the aid of paleontology. It became possible to accurately determine the age of the samples, find remnants of organic matter and fossils, and even extract DNA fragments in ancient remains. Although previously, it had been believed that DNA cannot survive for more than 600 years. This scientific approach presented many new discoveries in paleontology and dispelled no less errors. So, for example, back in the 20th century, it was thought that velociraptors looked like this. But later studies have shown that these lizards were evolutionarily very close to birds, which means that they probably had feathers. Now, no one is surprised that all modern birds originated from dinosaurs. And the analysis of the genomes of various birds show that the least amount of chromosomal changes in relation to their ancestor was acquired by a chicken. She is actually the closest relative of the dinosaur. So Chico's imaginings are not a fantasy. It's a scientific fact. <laughs> Daco, sorry, but I don't think you'd make much of a shrink. Are you peeking? I found a way. Let's get out of here, Arakli. You're gonna make another mess, and everyone's gonna be sure that I've gone mad. Ah, they all go mad when you see that I pulled off. Come on, come with me. Wait till you see this. Look what I found in the archive of Mr. Hat Rockhead. Just what I need. I can become big and strong like that one-toed thing on the video, like a dinosaur. That requires compliment experiments, and I doubt Doco would agree to it. Huh, what to do? Change the DNA of a carrot? Don't you dare. That was very dangerous. Oh, come on, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Shall we split it? Just imagine, we'll be ginormous reptiles. We'll take over the world. I... I don't want to. <laughs> it's stupid. I'm okay being a hedgehog. Thank you very much. Whatever, Prickles. Suit yourself. But if you change your mind, I'll be easy to find. <laughs> I'll be the massive dinosaur. <laughs> Peter? <laughs> <laughs> the chicken fried and chicken steamed. Peter, the chicken, where chick, are chick, you? Chick, chicken. The chicken fried and chicken steamed. The chicken, chick, 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 chicken. Yes, I want to be 
the most important. Oh, yes, I wanna be the strangest too. Yes, I wanna be the unsurpassed. And frankly speaking, I want to say, I need a pot of semolina. I put on a coat with the half a dollar to make it clear to Dan and Mother. I will be caught the dinosaurs of the Ha ha ha! NEC is now knee high for me. Uh oh. Oh no, we didn't agree to that. You're really cool. Something like a real dinosaur. No one knows for sure what a real dinosaur looked like. Docker was saying they even had feathers. Uh, oh, I knew it! The, where are you going? You know, dinosaurs are born to conquer the world. And I've already been stuck with you for too long. <laughs> and Peter, that's a good name. Maybe I'll keep it. Now they definitely won't believe me. That I didn't make you up. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how old we are, Peter? Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Chico, where have you been, huh? That's a nice costume. <laughs> it's just nonsense. Just in case you want to do hug your imaginary friend, but he was uh, imaginary, and here I am. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> 